Welcome to the video by DJ's PRC. Welcome back to Project Cherokee. We're almost done with the Project Cherokee right now for the moment. But what I wanted to show you guys today is how exactly I made these. And what did I use to make these? These guys here are made to go around the windows here. Okay. Now I did make some to go all around the vehicle and I wanted to show you exactly what I use. Um, one of the first thing I went is to my local dollar store and believe it or not, I actually bought a garbage can. Okay. Uh, here in Canada, it's called Dollarama and I actually paid $4 for the complete can. And basically what I did, I grabbed my whiz and basically cut a piece out of it. The correct size, roughly about the correct size I needed. One of the first thing I physically did is grab a piece of paper. I grabbed the body, put the piece of paper on it and grab my nails and try just to scribe the sides. You could do it with a pencil too if you wanted to. I just prefer using my nail and then I scribe around it. Now I'm just gonna do this very fast here. Now this gives you roughly the shape you need. And what I did, grab my scissors. Cut around the lines. If I can cut straight, it would be even more fun. And I went back to the body and made sure it's, it is, if it looks right, did I cut too much? Did I not big enough? And believe it or not, it's pretty much banged on. Uh, now, the other thing I did is I used some KNS U brass channel, should I say? Um, it's a foot long, 9885 from KNS, and it has. I'm not sure if you can see it on, on the screen here, but it's a it's a channel. Let's see if she's gonna to want to focus. Probably not, but you can see it. There is a channel in the middle here. I grab this. And what I'm gonna do is cut it the correct length of on both sides. Now, the other thing I did basically is putting this is gonna add some length to it and some width to it. I went with my scissors and I removed some a bit. Basically, I removed the lines completely. I just shrunk it down a bit. And there, like I said, the reason you want, you want to do this, you don't need to. Because on the body itself, when I added, with not cutting it, the U-channel was on the physical frame of the door. I want it to be mostly inside the window. It may not be 100% scale, but I went closest that I could. Now, the other thing I did, bend it in half. Cut a, uh, a form in the middle. I grab my piece of garbage can, my meshing, should I say, grab a little bit of some tape, right in the middle. That way it stays on it while I'm trying to cut it. Use the whiz, and I went around.
Now, be careful when you're doing this. This metal is sharp. You can basically cut yourself. If you are under age, please ask your parent, your guardian, your big brother, your big sister, even your neighbor. Okay. Now we have our shape. Don't discard this or your template you do. It's the same size on the other side. You just flip it to be able to get the physical. Because there's the way the window is made, there is one size shorter than the other one. It shouldn't, but it is. I don't know why. I digress. Put this aside. Now, what I did, again, I grabbed my, my U channel, went on one side, I marked it. Normally I use a marker. I just forgot to bring my marker with me. I popped it in my vise or my, uh, I don't know how you call this exactly. Some kind of, maybe I have a jig, whatever. And grab my saw blade. And what I, what I did is the physical line that I mark. I know you, may, you won't be able to see it here, but I'm cutting inside the line, not outside the line, not on the line. I'm just removing a little bit of the material, okay? And basically, I cut this one, grabbed my other piece, went on the other side, cut the same thing again, did my bottom, did my top. Now I had four pieces like this, ends up like this. And I used some tape, pieces of tape, to physically hold the U-channel on top of it. Did all four corners this way. Then I grabbed my soldering iron, use a piece of wood, because you don't want to do it directly on your counter or your desk or something, you're gonna burn it. That's why you see burn marks on my car uh, plywood here. And I grabbed my soldering, hold it, and just fed it. Fed solder to it to make the corners hold together and they're very solid. Um, you could try to weld it if you wanted to, but it is brass and brass you can weld on it. It goes well. If you ever need to remove it for some reason, heat it up a bit and you'll be able to dismantle this window completely. Now, once I soldered all four corners, I basically sand them off a bit to remove the rough edges. Then I remove my tape. Try not to make a mess here. Grabbed it, popped it on the vehicle itself, tried to center it. And I grab my drill and the drill bit and I drill in all four corners. Two holes. You could use uh, basically silicone, uh, any, time of a, any kind of adhesive, basically to glue them on the vehicle. Uh, I want to go a little bit more secure. And then I grab some KNS uh, brass rods, very small, they're 0.5 mil. Cut a piece, I drill a hole on both sides through the window itself, and then bend this in half and just twist it inside the body. Now I'm not gonna do it on this body here, because this body here won't have this application on it. On the next video, you should be able to see the finished result on the body itself. I just don't want to show it yet. I'm not done with it. But like I said, popped it. Drilled two holes, two holes, two holes, two holes here too. 
grab this uh, can as a rod, bend it in half and just twist them inside. It holds extremely solid. Uh, even if the body rolls the stuff, they don't move. And this is what I do all around it. Now, if you guys have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. And don't forget, if you hit that bell notification in the corner, you will get be no you will get notification next time I upload a video. And if you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and check out greathobbies.com. Their site is awesome. And thank you for watching.